Okay, hello everyone, and uh, thank you, Toby, for the opportunity to present today on PICO and evidence uh, surveillance. Um, I am going to give you a brief overview of PICO search beta and how it works, um, some future developments, also our evidence pipeline to help us with timely surveillance of new trials and interventional reviews, and most importantly, how PICO search benefits our Cochrane Library users. PicoSearch Beta was launched in 2019, and since then, search and browse capability has been developed further following large-scale testing. Before I continue, just to note that I have taken screenshots of PicoSearch from a future release that you will see at some point after Easter. And before we continue, a reminder of what Pico is. Uh, we use Pico to formulate our questions, our review questions, and to develop our search strategies. P for population, condition, I for intervention, the drug or the surgical intervention, C for comparison, placebo or a different drug to the interventional one, and finally O for outcome, death, pain, adverse events. You may have noticed recently when searching on the Cochrane database of systematic reviews on the Cochrane Library that you can now view the PICOs for each interventional review. As you can see here on the screenshot, the PICO is automatically collapsed. However, you just need to click on it and it'll expand. Now you can view how the review has been described within each PICO component. So how can we search these PICOs? We can do so in our Pico Search Beta tool, which is now housed on the advanced search in the Cochrane Library. So, what is Pico Search? Pico Search is a tool to help you find Cochrane reviews for your specific Pico question. And it gives you the opportunity to search for the full Pico or any combination of Pico components. Uh, for example, you might just want to search for a condition and an intervention, or an intervention and an outcome. To date, we have over 6,200 Cochrane interventional reviews annotated, and that includes all reviews published since 2015 and a number of older reviews that have fallen within special collections or are highly accessed on the Cochrane Library. So how are we creating the PICOs? What terms are we using? We use multiple ontologies to annotate our reviews. On this slide, you can see a list of those ontologies to which we link. Where a term is not available in any of these ontologies, we create our own. We also add synonyms when necessary. Also, in our vocabulary browser, you can see the broader and narrower terms for whichever term uh, you are searching. So, how can you use the Pico search? You can use it to find reviews that answer your questions fast. You can discover a full range of interventions assessed for a population, populations associated with an intervention, outcomes evaluated um, for an intervention, maybe learn about new topic areas by exploring the PICO terms, and develop and teach search skills by building PICO questions. So looking here at PICO search, here I've searched for COPD. Typing in a term opens a drop-down menu, giving me a choice of terms to choose from. COPD has been added as synonym for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and therefore that is the term I will choose. So when I have selected my term, the relevant PICO components are highlighted at the end of the search box. COPD can be found for population or outcome. Here on this slide, you can see the quality of life when searched for is only available as an outcome. Combining COPD and quality of life filters my search to 69 results. And just to note that the search returns concepts tagged with the search term and its narrower terms. It does not search the broader term. Here I've added intervention and comparison. As with the population, the PICO search understands that I'm looking for an intervention and a comparison and has given me those options. The combination of all four PICO components retrieves now just two results. So looking forward or looking towards uh, the near future with PICO search beta.
we would like to integrate Pico Search into the standard Cochrane Library Search and also have clickable Pico lozenges from the search results. What I mean by that is that you can click on each term within each Pico component and it would retrieve other reviews that are described as such. Pico Search is only the beginning and we would like to continue with Pico feature development for exploring Cochrane review evidence and data browsing analyses by Pico, exploring API services for Pico and metadata for external use, for example, guidelines, linking or searching guidelines, and also creating bespoke packages of evidence. And here, this could be an example, this could be a package of evidence. This is just a mock-up and it's just a, an example. You have run your search on Pico, you have the option now to show comparisons by Pico or per outcome. Uh, based on your PICO, you can export summary of findings tables or analysis. So moving on to evidence surveillance. World health evidence is changing fast, as we know, and research volume is growing, making retrieving evidence more time consuming. So the evidence pipeline addresses this difficulty in finding reports of studies for inclusion and in reviews in a timely way. In our current evidence pipeline, study citations are identified through automated and enhanced centralized search activities, including Cochrane's crowd platform, where studies are screened by over 20,000 contributors across 166 countries. We are now in the process of expanding the crowd task out to PICO annotation. And just to add, some of this will be automated. We are already surveilling RCTs that are then triaged to the most relevant review group or review by using machine learning technologies. Uh, suggested study type flags are also automatically um, assigned, for example, RCT. Then this is filtered metadata can be fed to the Cochrane Register of Studies, which users can then search in central on the Cochrane Library. So, the main goal here is to pre-classify the studies before they arrive in central. The process of manually searching multiple databases for each review is time consuming and we need to vastly improve the efficiency of this first step in review production. So there is a demand for timely surveillance of new trials for both our internal review production processes as well as you know, for end users of the Cochrane Library. And this project, you know, will meet the demand by establishing a machine crowd workflow that can process new trial records in an efficient way that enables rapid use and publication. So here's an example of PICO surveillance uh, for uh, reviews, highlighting new RCTs against review, you find a review in the Cochrane Library that was published maybe two months or two years ago. And with PICO annotation of the studies in Central, we could highlight against the review what new studies have been completed or published in the meantime. Studies that meet the specific PICO for that review. PICO surveillance for studies, another example. You're working on um, a review you um, need to update with new studies that meet the inclusion criteria for that review. You could select your PICO criteria and sign up for PICO surveillance alerts. This could help you in deciding when to update um, or when to do the analysis for your review. So what are the benefits for our Cochrane Library users? Discover evidence. Can I find my review? Find the RCTs that meet my research criteria. PICO can be useful to discover research gaps. What topics have not yet been covered? What needs to be updated? Surveillance of the evidence for priority setting. And let's not forget that this should make searching easier, especially searching for outcomes. Having reviews and RCTs described using PICO could be useful in the classroom to assist teachers in explaining PICO. And there are a number of questions that we need to keep in mind that PICO can help us answer quickly. What is published? What trials are available for my topic of interest? When can I do the analysis and when can I update? So finally, I'd just like to acknowledge all the teams that are involved in all of this work that we are doing. Thank you. <laughs>